Hi, I'm John Fretwell and I'm the manager of the Network Operations Centre at Edmunds Arts headquarters in London. From here, we work 24-7 monitoring and managing all of our Global Express satellite communication services for our worldwide customers over land, sea and air. Our 14th satellite, the GX5, has just come into operation to provide enhanced high-speed mobile broadband Global Express services across Europe and the Middle East, which is fantastic news. Satellites require an immense and complex array of ground support when they come into operation and over the last few years we've been working hard preparing for this next addition to our fleet of satellites in geostationary orbit. Our existing satellites are supported by a minimum of two antenna satellite ground stations. The new GX5 however is supported by six new Global Express antennas at our ground stations in France, Romania, Italy, Netherlands, Greece and Cyprus. This is because GX5 is not just another satellite, it offers an amazing technological advancement. It has 72 beams and four steerable beams, providing more capacity than our other four Global Express satellites combined. Once our customers start using the GX5 services, here at the NOC and with the support of our MOSAT proprietary tools, we will be closely monitoring our GX5 high capacity traffic. One of our critical responsibilities in the NOC is to ensure the services are always operational and kept to the highest standards every hour of every day. If the GX5 services are affected in any way, the system is designed to automatically transfer all of the customer traffic to one of our other six ground stations. For our customers, GX5 provides a huge increase in our network capacity over key maritime and aviation routes in the region and is fully compatible with all existing terminals. Our next generation terminals, which will start to be available in 2021, will enable even more performance. Next up, we have seven more satellite launches planned by 2024, which also includes coverage of the Arctic. It's going to be a very busy but very exciting time in the